Good morning. This is Mike Fisher, instructional coach and educational consultant. And today we are going to be looking at putting Google Calendar into a live binder. If you want to access this video um, at any time, you can do so from my website at digigogy.com, D I G I G O G Y.com. Um, or if you have questions about it, you can email me at mikefisher821 at gmail.com. To put a Google Calendar into a live binder, there's a couple of steps that we have to take. One of which is to create a binder in which we will put the Google Calendar. So once I'm logged into the Live Binder account, one of my tabs here is to create the binder. I'm going to click on Create. I'm going to click on Start a Blank Binder. And I'm going to name the binder just for now Google Calendar practice. You can put tags in here, a description, uh, decide what category it should fit in, whether you want it to be public or private. I'm going to leave this one private and I'm going to click on create new binder. And here is the binder where I will put my Google Calendar. I'm going to switch over to my Google Calendar now and this is what my calendar looks like. It is um, inclusive of several calendars um, that I view all at once in one place but we're only going to embed one of the calendars that are here over in this area represents the different calendars that I have um, but we're only going to embed one of these but I'm going to show you the process for doing that up in the upper right hand corner there's a settings button I'm going to click that and it asks me for whether or not I want to do calendar settings or Google account settings I'm going to click on calendar settings and this is what the page looks like. I'm going to click on the calendars tab and this gives me a list of the calendars that I have in my calendar view. I'm going to click on one of my calendars here to open it up and it gives me some options here. One of the options is to embed this calendar perhaps on a website but what we need is an actual web address of the calendar to put into the live binder because the live binder doesn't accept at this time um, the embed code. So in this area here where it says calendar address there's several options here one of which is the blue HTML button. When I click that it gives me the actual web address to my calendar. I'm going to right click on that and copy this link address, click OK to close this box, and then up top I need to make this calendar public. In order for other people to view my calendar, the calendar has to be made public. So I'm going to click on the share this calendar tab and you can see that this calendar is already public because the checkbox is checked here. If it's not checked, you will need to check that box and click save. Now I've copied that link into my computer's memory so I'm going to go back to the live binder and I'm going to change the name of this tab to calendar and I'm going to paste that web address into the URL box on the live binder and click insert. And there is my calendar in the live binder make sure you press save add whatever else you're going to add to your other tabs create new tabs create sub tabs um, but your calendar is now in there and other people that come to your live binder will be able to see your calendar okay this will be very useful for uh, teachers or for anyone that's sharing information um, through live binders, uh, perhaps a, a coaching type situation for professional development, or if you just want to share uh, homework times or um, assignments or a project date or something with your students. So thank you. If you have any questions, please email me at mikefisher821 at gmail.com and look for this video as well as others uh, to be at my website at digigogy.com.